Thank you very much. Electronics!
until you want. You can give some, you can do some practical to solve a, a problem in your house. You don't need to go to the shop to buy every time the tools or they are they have plans to if they, your father asks you, oh my son, I heard that you are doing technical. I'm having some problem with my bubble. I'm having some problem with uh, my light. Come and repair it for me. You say, Father, ah, I'm still on the bench. Go and cause and repair to come and do it for you. No. You are saying you can do it. That's why you are here. Yes. 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 Construct a house. How many of you did integrated science or have done integrated science? Yeah. 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 All right. Now listen. 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 We learned about we learned about plants, right? And if you want a plant to grow, it needs what light. All right. So if you block all the light around the plant and just let small amount of light at a at a particular place, the plant will grow in that direction. You understand? So by letting the plant and blocking the light and allowing the light to flow in only one direction, you can control the way that the plant grows. And in the end, you have a wonderful building. You can actually live in a building like that. You understand? That is somebody's idea. That is somebody's idea. Somebody's idea. Somebody's idea. And it can be done. 
And not that it's not a joke, because we are actually doing it. We are actually doing it. We are actually doing it. We are doing it. And I'm sure you see, we are doing, we are actually growing a plant. And in a few years, you actually see the plants growing. We are doing it. It's not a joke. We are doing it. It's not some theory you're going to see somewhere and we are just coming to tell you. We are doing it. You understand? So if you have an idea, you don't sit down. You don't sit down. Now, electronics falls under a broad perspective that we call what? Science. Electronics is under science, all right? So what then is it? What is science? What is science? What is science? Huh? What is science? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what science is. Science, all right, is the way that you acquire knowledge. Hmm? By experimentation. So first of all, you are, you're going to acquire the knowledge. And then you're going to experiment with the knowledge you have. Now, this, this is what it means. That after you've read your book, after you've read your book, maybe you've read a uh, bridge rectifier or something like that, or how to convert AC into DC. You've read the book. The book has shown you how to do it. You don't sit down, no. You don't sit down. You don't say, OK, the book has said it, so that is all. You also go and buy your own diodes, eh? and you buy your own capacitors, and you build it and see if it is true. What if the book is lying? Eh? And in building it, you get new ideas. New ideas. You get new ideas. I've met a student already, and I've helped him to do some things. All right? It's wonderful. So you experiment with the knowledge, and then you find an application for it. So after, say, um, you built the bridge rectifier. What can you use it to do? What can you use it to do? So right now, okay, you build a bridge rectifier. You can say, oh, let's power an amplifier. Let's use it to drive our amplifier. Get a loud sound, or if you like music, or if you like whatever you like. Basically, every, everything runs on DC. All electronic devices run on DC. So your phones, you can use to charge your phones, you can use to do a lot of things. You apply the knowledge you gain from experiment, right? Just in order to benefit humanity, you understand? And you don't do it in your small room and hide it. You do it so that you can help other people, okay? You do the things or you learn or you experiment so you can what, help people, you understand? So that the, the whole community will benefit. That, that, is, that is the only way to grow. If you want to see a change in your community or in your environment, you have to design your things or you have to do things that will benefit everyone else, not just you. All right, so how, how does it benefit? How, what are the things that you can do that can benefit humanity, all right? You have to, you have to one, identify a particular problem. So you've seen a problem around you, around you. There are plenty of problems. Don't say that everything has been done already. I don't believe in that thing. Not everything has been done already. And even if everything has been done already, people are still doing the same things again, and we are buying it. Do you understand? A television, they've made one TV. At the same television, but we are buying it. Okay, so why can't you do the same thing and make it better? Do you understand? You have to do something and make it better. Not that, okay, so somebody has done it already, so we need to undo some. You have to do some. All right? So what are problems? Problems around you. All right, so after everything, you've identified your problem, you have to deduce what a solution. You have to deduce a solution. All right, I've already said this. After you found your problem, you find yourself a solution. And a typical example is this. When you see that recently there has been fire outbreaks, plenty, okay, okay. All right, now this is the idea that somebody came up with. 
Now, instead of using the smoke detector, how many of you have seen a smoke detector before? Uh, smoke detector. The thing that they used to find out if there's a fire in the room. Right, you can check on it. There, instead of using that, somebody decided to use very simple component, a laser and an LDR, a light-dependent resistor. I'll show you a laser. Quickly show you how the laser works. And it's not some expensive laser from somewhere. Is the one you can find around. So this one. How many of you can see it? This. Can you see it? Yes. He used this to detect fire. and some mirrors, you can get it anywhere you pass. It's, you don't have to go and get something from far away. You don't have to go and get anything from far away. They are here, they are in your labs. Pick them, okay? Generate ideas from yourselves. It's, it's nothing so far. It's not far away. It's not far, cry. People who developed ideas got the ideas from simple, simple things. Very, very, very simple. All right. So there are so many things that we can do. Plenty of things. It is, it is, wow, wow. There are plenty of things. I believe, if you don't believe it's me, I, I believe you can do it. I believe for you that you can do this. You understand? You can get your ideas, develop them, and use them. Your labs are good. Very, very good. Like I've said, and it's wowing me. So I'm staying here for a month just to look at your labs and do things with it too. Okay, so you are here. It is your school. Make use of it. Develop those ideas. If you have to buy your own things, buy them. Do your things. You understand? So another thing somebody did, okay, is we, we all know the DVD players, the Chinese ones. That, the, the one that you buy now, the right now, the sport. That one, the, the, a small car that can move. What can you do with this car? It's not just play around with it. Do you know you can develop a whole robot from this? A whole robot, not just a robot you drive in your room, but a robot that can be used in a factory. A robot that can be used in a factory. And you start from somewhere like this. You start from somewhere like this. You don't have to wait till somebody brings you big money to build. Then you start fumbling. No, you start from somewhere. You gain the experience from building the small, small things around you first. Then when somebody brings it to you, you see that everything starts coming. Everything. If you do plenty of things, all the ideas start coming to you. One, one. Plenty. So from there, from this, from developing this, we develop this. Now, where is your So, we'll show you how it works and what it can do as and now. You can develop industrial based robots from small, simple things. What I'm trying to tell you is that the things are not far away from you. They are not far away at all. They are around you. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Open your eyes. Open your ears. I'm not here to teach you. The teachers are better than me. They'll do the teaching. But I, what I want you to know from me is that open your eyes. Open your ears. Don't be limited by what the book has said. 
Go feather. Go feather. Far, 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 far. Away from the books. Open your mind. Just open your mind. So, yes, he will demonstrate how the entire robot and everything works for you to see. All right, so this, this is my whole message. This is my whole message. Open your eyes. The ideas are here. All of them are in your mind, okay? All the ideas are in your mind, all right? Open your eyes. Work together. Work together. Electronics. Ideas. Electronics. Ideas. So he's going to demo to you. He's going to demo how Okay, um, this is, um, as, we, uh, as we introduced, it's a robot car that I made. Uh, I chose to call it Kofi Bot. Uh, um, I like you. I'm a Ghanaian. The robot I am a is Kofi Bot. Can you hear me? Kofi Bot. Can you hear me? Can you, oh. can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay, I said this is a robot car that so you can sit down there. Um, it, it took some time, but it's really not that hard, okay? I think with some little electronic that you learn, you can also do something like that. I didn't really do much with this thing, okay? It looks so impressive, the lights are flashing and all, but I didn't really do much. So, any one of you could do it in about a week if you learn, okay? So, um, this, this white thing, can you see? The white thing on top is a breadboard, okay? I'm sure you know about it. Does anybody know what a breadboard is? Okay, project board. Okay, it's, it's just you can just stick the components onto it. Okay, and then you make your circuit. Okay, they have some some of them in your lab. Okay, I've seen a lot of them in your lab. So you can go and experiment with those. Okay. Yeah, this this thing. I think you should have. You should, have you seen one before? Yeah. You've seen some before. Yeah? It's very very good. If you if you don't know how to solder, you know soldering. Okay, if you don't know how to solder, it's very, very good. Me, I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm just a computer science student. So, this beginner levels, eh? So, I work, I do everything on this board. Okay, so, um, the, 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 what would I call it? This, the chassis, okay, the ties and everything. It's from a car, an existing car, but it was spoke. Okay, they had the motors and then the ties and everything, but it was spoke. So I had the idea that, well, if I could fix it and control it with light, it would be nice, okay. And I had this very... I had this very nice... Like I said, I'm a computer science student, so me, I like programming, okay. I had this very nice small computer here. It cost 60 Ghana. Okay, but don't worry, we are trying to get some in the fab lab, okay, so that I can also go and use. Okay, it's called CT Ghana, it's very, very nice. It means that I can program what I want onto it, okay, and then it will work with my circuit. So since me, I like programming, and I don't know electronics that much as you guys, some of you probably know more electronics than me. Okay, so I decided to go this way, okay. So I just wrote my program onto it, and I need to control the circuit over here, all right? Okay, you see, it's just some LEDs, the lights, the lights are called LEDs, and then some resistors, and then a uh, photoresistor, okay, that detects light, okay, just that. And what I've programmed it to, um, the comp small computer to do is that it should just measure the light coming from the photodiodes, uh, from the, sorry, for the photoresistors, okay, and decide which one has more light. Then it will turn the motors, the, the car's motors in that direction. Okay, so that's all it does, and with that, you can make it follow light. Okay, so I'll demonstrate how it, like, it's in motion now. I don't know, some of you may not be able to see, so. You, I'll, I'll try, I'll do as, as much as I can. It's best in a dark, because there's so much light around here, you see that. Right now, I think here is lighter. I think that's a little bit true. Okay. So, that, see that the tires are facing here? Let me point the truck at it here. Now I see the truck, they change. Okay. Have you seen that the tires have reversed? Okay.
Electronics. Yes. Electronics. Yes. The fact there's so much light here, it will be a little bit hard to control when I put it on the floor. Like it will try to move to this way. Mostly because there's more light here. Okay. So I'm just going to. I think you can see from here, right? Yes. Learn on your own, find information, there's lots of information everywhere, and then practice what you do. 
what you learn, okay? Practice what you learn. If you don't practice it, it won't stick in your mind. Okay, like these circuits I built, I'll never ever forget them. I can take them apart and put them back together right now without looking in the book. Because I've, I've done it. When you are doing it, it helps you learn it better. So that's all I have for you. Um, I'll give the mic to the next person. <laughs> So my job was to create an air conditioner for the car. So I had an idea, okay, now, why don't I find some traditional way of creating a very simple and cheap air conditioner for the car? So I was thinking, I was thinking, and I realized that, you know, our air were for you know, and you know, Musuze move very chill. So my idea was that, if that is the case, if the, 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 the air airport can keep the water cool, then why don't I put a pipe inside the water, so that when the air will put keep the water cool, then the water will also cool the air, then the air will enter the car. Okay, then you get something like an air conditioner. Let's show the next slide. Okay, so this is sort of how it's like. Okay, so we, we clay parts that forms the air system, and then there is a sun layer, there's a metal layer that will contain the water, then there's a copper pipe which we put inside the water, and the cover is on top like that. So. We built it and it was pretty awesome. It gave some level of cooling and it was really nice. And what I learned from this was that everything is basically possible to do. I mean, you can just pick anything, modify it, and then create whatever you want. And it wasn't so difficult. We just went and got some clay, molded it into the earthenware pot, got some copper, and then started doing something. So you guys can also do a lot of things. And I'm also the guy behind the growing of the house from trees. And um, also, you know, I learned in, in, in back at secondary school that plants grow towards light, okay? So, I mean, after learning it, I just didn't want to just sit down and just only memorize what, you know, I read in the book. So I decided to do a project on my own and try to use that concept to direct the, 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 the shape in which the plant should grow, okay? So imagine you let the one plant, one plant there, so the plant will grow outside that so the plant will grow like this, and then grow outside the hole, okay? So I get about 10 of those things, and then I can create a sort of wall, and then get some sort of canopy of, 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 of trees. Okay, so, so you get something like this. Okay, so you put all of them together, and then you form something. Okay, so that's um, basically it. And I also was the guy uh, behind the smoke detector, the laser based smoke detector thing. You know, recently there's been a lot of fire outbreaks here and there. Okay? So, my idea was simple. I mean, I want to protect my mother. Okay, I don't want my mother's shop to burn down and then she wouldn't be able to pay my school fees. So, I decided to try and design something cheap, you know, so that she can put in the shop so that it can detect smoke, you know, when it starts. So, basically, what I do is that all of you know light burner resistors, right? Yes. yes. Wonderful. So, I've got a light burner resistor, okay, and I got a laser. Okay, what it should be three cities. So the laser basically shoots out. Okay? And there are a series of seven mirrors. Okay? I hope you're following. Yes, Wonderful. Now, so when the laser goes, the mirror bounces it back to another mirror. And that mirror also bounces it. And then it keeps bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Until finally it is bounced back onto the light dependent resistor. Okay, so the light dependent resistor is able to sense that there is some light. Okay? So the moment any smoke starts in the room, you see the smoke will rise and it will block the laser, the laser part, okay? So the moment it is blocked, then the thing starts to make an alarm, okay, to show that the smoke, then you come and then quench the fire or something and do something about it. So let me just give you a quick story. So let's see. So now, um, the mirrors are not here, okay? The mirrors are not here. So I'm going to try and then, let it um, sense light, okay? Then when I move it away from the light, it will make an alarm, okay? Um, 
trying to find some. Okay? You see the stocks? Because there's the right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. When I move the right away, it starts to look at Okay? It stops. Okay? So when the laser goes around, 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 and then comes back to it, it will not make any alarm. But when smoke rises and then blocks the laser away from it, then it starts to make the alarm. You understand it? Yeah. You get a concept? Yeah. Wonderful. Basically, that's the whole idea behind it. <laughs> something very useful, okay? So I encourage you to keep trying things, keep trying to do things, okay? And then I'm sure you guys will, when I see this, you're going to come here and show them something. When I see this, you're going to go, Okay, 
intelligence. That means you, you yourself, you can go and get a circuit. You can come to me. I'll help you. I have many, many projects like that. I can help you to build it and you'll be feel comfortable. This one is just a prototype. That's why I did it on this one so that you guys can have a look of it. But the final one, when I came, I did this thing, a transformation. We have some machine over there. The machine's name is CMT. You know what? Yeah. Right here in your lab. Right here in your lab. Uh, this prototype, I did it only this morning. I came earlier. I don't know if some of you saw me around. Yeah, yeah. I came earlier just to do this prototype. Within one hour, I finished doing it. <laughs> With this PCB board. With this PCB board, you can just remove all the components and fix it and put the power supply and that's all. You have your wonderful amplifier. You can play, like if you have a party, you can play any song, I love you to bring a zone to. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 